hello viewers in our video today we're going to discuss about this motor of course it's not full motor as you can see some other parts are missing so yeah but let's talk about it this i made it i do the winding the original wire which was used in this motor it was mm, in bad condition overheated very bad so i take it out i clean it as you can see even this the cover is it shows that it's very old i don't know what kind of motor it was but anyway i just see how they did their windings so i realized that it is the common winding that we can find in many motors so anyway I use my own doings as you can see right here right so to make it clear for you to understand let me use something similar like this as you can see this almost be the same but this one is bigger comparing to this one but anyway you're going to understand why I'm saying like this because it has this it has 36 holes which is the same thing to this one this one too it has 36 holes talking about these holes okay 36 the only difference is that this one it has these little ones while this one it only have these bigger ones all over this one here so no problem as long as you are going to follow me what am i saying here so here's how i did it if you can take a look right here we have four empty holes can you see those four empty holes so as i say it has 36 holes so this is how i did it i took uh, from here let's say this is the starting point starting point the one we're not going to count it okay so we're going to start from the next one like one two three four five six seven eight okay these eight are the ones we are going to use so let me use this to mark them like this in this one we're not going to use it we're going to leave it empty why i did like this because as you can see here we have these eight lines like one two three four five six seven eight okay so come coming back to this starting from the middle count three from this side one two three this one here and one two three these two right here we start winding our wire right here going clockwise first until i reach 40 turns okay one two three four until 40 these two okay let me close this my dry right then once i hit 40 in these two then i'll come back to this one this and this 40 again then the third ones then the fourth ones okay going the same direction clockwise 40 tens 40 tens 40 tens 40 tens okay so to demonstrate that we use the same wire i was using there this wire I got it from let me show you i got it from this this is coming from a washing machine motor smart drive most of you maybe you've seen this something like this okay so i take out the wire that's the one i'm using in this project it's a big wire you can see here it's one millimeter wire so that's very thick right so 
going back demonstrate I said I choose these eight so in this eight I'm gonna start with the middle two see here push our wire inside these first ones like this and make sure you do the same thing 40 times okay uh, come come back here what's wrong with you all right see that clockwise 40 and once you reach 40 then you're going to jump to the second hole which is this one oh boy okay it's hard all right let me go back to this so these first ones going clockwise after these second one so second is going this side coming out here 40 first ones 40 tens second ones 40 tens third one this and this one here 40 tens then the last one 40 tens okay and once you finish there you jump to another one do the same thing going clockwise all of them they're going clockwise until i reach right here okay i don't know if you understand my explanation but i believe you did understand so now let's test it because i was not making it as a motor i was making it as a generator okay that's why you only see this stuff uh before i go to the magnet part I just want to say that once you finish do 40 40 40 40 okay that means you're going to have two wires here starting point and finishing point you can cut there come to this one start from the middle again 40 40 that means you're going to have eight wires at the end then connect all the wires in series then you end up with two wires just like this all right so now let's go to the magnet using this rotor it's from another motor i use the small one so that we can have the space aside and i'm using this magnet you dim your magnet like these ones thirty millimeters long ten millimeters and the thickness is three mm all right so yeah and i made eight poles eight poles hope you can see right there one two three four five six seven eight right eight poles north south north south then i cover with a uh, insulation tape just to make it very strong to hold them together avoid them coming out because we're using glue stick so now let's push it this inside and i'm gonna pause the video put together this on top then spin it so we can see how much voltage we can generate from this well i'm done putting anything else together right here even though i did some adjustment but for now looks perfect because the glue here is not holding but well i'll fix it next video because this one we're going to use the rope to pull it then in next video i'll find a way to put to hold all of these things together all right but for now let's just see how much voltage we are getting here 150 volts AC okay this is the first test so believe the results oh going to be good All right 13 okay let's try it with 
crop okay do not disappoint me all right for first test i hope this is enough That's enough. So I'm gonna hold here and pull it. Okay. Yeah, there you're gonna see. Okay. Right here, right here. Ready? Sorry for that. Okay. Again. What about that sound inside? It's a remember the tip. I think it's opened like this, that's why it's making noise like that. So quickly, with much time, let's check it. If we can be able to power this light bulb. This is neutral. And remember, as I said, I took out some magnets. So it's like the space is, yeah, it's about half inch the space. But I believe next video, I'm going to put them back for the magnets. Because the voltage we're supposed to get twice the voltage we're getting here. You know, when you put the magnet far from the rotor, uh, I mean from the stator, that's what happens, so I'll try to put it closer in the next video. I will show you what am I talking about, but now, because I was doubting that uh, the aluminum wire can produce the power to power something, some serious power, you know, because I just don't like aluminum wire. So this is aluminum, as you can see there. It's not a copper wire so yeah let's see if we can be able to power this ready oh okay okay all right okay there's smaller one so let's do the big one now i connected this 100 watts let's see if we can power it i'll be surprised because aluminum okay ready oh okay 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 looks like so many things is happening here okay let's do it again maybe it just happen by chance because i can't believe it ready again all right i added another 100 watts light bulb so now we have 200 watts because i'm still amazed you know i know most of you you seen those motors with uh aluminum wires but to me it's you know not common that's why i was doubting that can make something <laughs> from aluminum wires but anyway looks very interesting let's see with our low voltage 55 to 59 volts if we can be able to power these two because yeah let's see ready oh, wow okay okay this is amazing one more time okay hmm. 
now I see I'll never doubt aluminum wires again anyway let me stop here until next video when we're going to finish run this in full speed please thanks for watching if you're new don't forget to subscribe